Hey, what's up? It's me, Eve, Eve, three, thir Eve, three, Eve, thir Eve, just take my word for it. It's me. I've recently come to the crushing realization that I'm getting old and old people forget things like how to have fun. So one day while I was sitting around forgetting to have fun, I found a thumb drive with things I used to like on it. And soon I found out it wasn't just anime. Now to find out what's inside this thing, we need to go to a brand new place. Let's go. We're here. Welcome to the Gamer Lounge, where I game and I lounge, I guess. Now let's see what's on this bad boy. Skylanders? I had terrible taste as a kid. Have you ever wanted to buy a bunch of plastic toys that you didn't need? No, I don't think that's- TOO BAD! Oh. Oh no. You broke him. For a majority of my life, I didn't know what I was missing. Until now. The answer was three tree rexes. Skylanders, the series that cracked the code on how to get every last dollar out of every single child. It was a revolutionary series, making sure that every parent had something to buy their child for every single holiday. Birthdays, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, other specifically Christian holidays. Also, kids could get their grubby little hands on the brand new tread head. The true meaning of Christmas. So many of these little guys too, oh my god, you could get them anywhere, from Target to Best Buy to even legally dubious things for sale, pop! Just to get a single toy, plastic toy, plastic, plastic toy figure. And what does it do? Well, this bodes well. If you can't already tell, we're talking about Skylanders, the best series made by Toys for Bob. If you forgot, the main draw of these games was that you would put the characters on the portal of power, and then they'd launch into the game, like actual magic. The only thing is, the magic wore off as soon as you got to five years old. Let's go through the entire series and see how well it's aged. Let's start with Spyro's Adventure, or as I like to call it, uh, who? In case you didn't know who he was, Spyro, this dragon over here, the PS1 juggernaut, was used to market the first game. But as soon as the game became the best-selling game of 2011, they dropped him for the rest. This is the first game in the series, and it definitely feels like it. The combat is a rudimentary, they don't use all the buttons on the controller, and you can't jump. Why? Despite all of that, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. The story, while confusing, was fun and interesting. Basically, this dude named Chaos over here destroyed the core of light and sent the Skylanders to Earth and made them toys. So you have to bring the Skylanders back to Skylands and restore the core of light. The gameplay that wasn't combat was fine, I guess. The graphics look okay. And the characters are some of the most iconic in the series. Such legends as Gilgrunt, Trigger Happy, Prism Break, Stealth Elf, and Boomer. I mean, yeah, not the entire cast is super recognizable. For every Slam Bam, you've got a Wham Shell, and for every Spyro, you've got a Voodoo, but like, otherwise it's fine. Hey guys, check this out. I found a brand new gamer strat. If you press the attack button multiple times, in 5 to 15 hours, you've beaten the whole game. I mean, it's not even funny. The easiness of this game is enough to make you feel like you're playing Godfall. This problem was already bad, but... I mean, you can't jump in this game either, so that means that unless you're using the joystick, you only have to press one button to beat this game over and over and over again. Okay, I know these are the base easiest enemies in the game, but I swear, it doesn't change at all. But aside from that, the game is good. Let's just move on to Giants before I get any more angry at this game. Let's get the elephant out of the room first and foremost. Ninjini is really hot. I'm not joking. Okay, okay, I'll stop being dumb. Giants was a step in the right direction in every way, shape, and form. It's so refreshing. Have you ever seen a sequel that's just a better version of the original game in every way? It's just so refreshing to see a sequel made like this. But also, it doesn't feel much like a sequel. It feels more like an expansion pack, if anything. 
the changes are pretty cool, actually. There are new big Skylanders. You use more than one button on the controller this time. The graphics look slightly better, and you still can't jump. God damn it! All in all, I'd call this pretty good time. Maybe even better than the original. <laughs> no, definitely better than the original. Okay, all jokes aside, let's talk about what really makes this game great. The titular giants. That's right, we're finally talking about the giants. The big old beefy boys. Let's go. Go! We're finally talking about the Giants, the slightly bigger Skylanders. All of these guys feel different to play, and yet they all have the same abilities. They can do so much cool stuff. They can smash through floors, they can pick up rocks and yeet them into oblivion. They can even walk over chompies despite not having any feet, as all Giants do. All of these guys have their own feel and playstyle, despite all of them all being part of the absolutely humongous gang. My boy Tree Rex over here is slow and chunky, but deals out just as much damage as he takes. Just like me at 3 in the morning. Then there's Bouncer. He's more of a ranged guy. His attacks rely more on skill than on power and just durability. So most of his attacks require aiming, precision, and high damage shots. There's also Swarm. He's bad, so I literally didn't record any footage of him besides me punching him because I hate him. Crusher is here too. He's pretty much just Tree Rex, but a different element. And worse. So don't use him. He is literally the only Skylander that has ever disappointed me. And then there's Ninjini. She's not great. I mean, she's not atrocious. She's not the best Skylander as ever. She's just not amazing. And even the ones I don't have, I've either seen enough gameplay or played enough at a friend's house that I know that they also have their own unique movesets. Thumpback over here likes to keep some of his enemies away from him and the enemies that aren't away from him in his mouth. Doesn't sound like a half bad time to me. Eyebrawl seems like a balanced mix of Bouncer and Tree Rex. Tree Rex because of all the brawling you do, and Bouncer because of all the lasers your eye shoots while your body brawls on for you. Hothead is just Eruptor, but really big. If that burns your barn, go ahead and try him. So as you can clearly see, the giants are fantastic. But all of the other Skylanders are, um, uh... Let's just say the new Skylanders they added are strange, to say the least. We've got a furball on drugs, a mushroom man, a bird with a vacuum, a literal hot diggity dog, a random girl from Russia, an impossible dragon, a murderous bird and its master, and what my outside dumpster looks like. And yeah, that's about all I can say for Giants. It's a really good sequel. <laughs> hey there, chum, what's wrong? It's just... We're heading on to Swap Force. It's the best game in the series. Everything's downhill from here. Swap Force is the best game in the series. You wanna know why? Because you can finally jump, hallelujah! There are many other reasons why this game is the best in the series. Like for instance, the graphics are stunning. Watching my Giants gameplay and my Swap Force gameplay back to back makes it seem like a full console jump upwards. Well, that's because it is, but I mean, look at my boy Tree Rex here. Holy mo- Another reason why it's such a good game is because the combat is completely different. Well, not completely different, but it's different enough from Giants to make you go, Wow, this is actually fun. All right, let's find the real reason everyone loves this game. And I'm going to demonstrate it using my boys Magnetrage and Boom Jet. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's right. The Swap Force, I mean, the name just says it right in the name, doesn't it? The Swap Force can switch bottom and top halves with each other, and each one has their own condensed moveset. Even if you don't really enjoy Skylanders, find a friend who does, find this game, and check it out at least once. This was an incredible concept, and I still don't know how the hell they did it. It's just so cool. And the characters they chose make the perfect tops and bottoms to form a really, really fun idea. With such cool ideas as a skunk ninja, a tornado chicken, a swashbuckling squid, a western sharpshooting snake, an owl magician, and a flying ace that rides the propeller and engine of his jet, which is so damn cool. And the coolness doesn't stop there. Even the other Skylanders in this game look cool. 
There's Puff Boy and Star Girl and Wind Up, who no joke has become one of my favorite Skylanders of all time. This game is awesomeness incarnate. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just so cool. The toys look nice, the combat is cool, and most of all, it's just fun to play. The only problem that I really have with this game is that it feels a bit too disconnected from the rest of the universe. Like, all of the other games have a straight storyline, and they mention the other ones, but this one kind of seems like its own thing. I'm not kidding, though. The only characters from the previous games are Eon, Flynn, Chaos, and Glumshanks, I guess, if you want to count him. Okay, fine. Hugo and Callie show up for, like, two seconds at the beginning of the game, but that doesn't count, and you know it. Even Persephone, the fairy lady that gave you new abilities, has been replaced by this hippo dude and his power pods, which are a much better version of Persephone, if I'm being honest. The levels are also way too long, longer than any other game in the series. But aside from that, this game is incredible. All right, we have finally come to Trap Team. In the most basic terms I can put it, Trap Team is pretty much just Swap Force, but slightly more jank. This game was good, but this was definitely the first sign of, Houston, we're running out of ideas. The combat is just a copy and paste of Swap Force. The gimmick I'll get into later, don't worry about it. And the new Skylanders just aren't as good. The Skylanders themselves are generally well-balanced and the powers make sense, but if you look at the concepts for all of the Skylanders in the previous games and then the Skylanders and Trap Team, it's obvious that this is the point where they started to run out of ideas. I mean, for God's sakes, we got a robot skeleton, a fuzzy alchemist, a magnetic robot with one wheel, a ninja elf, the funniest Skylander ever made, and a wind-up toy that's alive. And you're telling me you're going to follow all of this up with Head Rush. It all just lacks the same kind of magic that Swap Force had. Now, I know that I'm being mean to this game a lot, but I don't hate it. It's a very good game. It just will never live up to the amazing standard Swap Force set. Okay, fine, it's time to talk about the gimmick. You can now trap enemies and play as them. If I'm being absolutely honest, in terms of gameplay, it doesn't add too much. It pretty much just adds a bunch of new characters to have fun with. Sometimes they have good personalities, and sometimes they have good abilities, but usually they're just kinda... eh. And whatever villain you have in the trap at the time, you can automatically switch between them and your hero whenever you want, as long as you have enough time on the villain timer left. There's also the Trap Masters, which do extra damage to these specific villains, but other than that, they're pretty useless. Actually, no, I lied, they're not useless, but whoever suggested the idea that only Trap Masters are able to open elemental gates, I hope Toys for Bob fired you. There's not much else I can say about this game. It is just... Swap Force, but not quite as good. Well, that was quite the ride, wasn't it? Now I know what none of you are asking. Jack, what about the 6th and 5th games? I don't own them. I do have some of the figures from the 5th game, but I don't have the game itself. But from what I've played at friends' houses, the 5th and 6th games are not very good. Have you played Mario Kart? Have you played Skylanders? Then you have played Skylanders Superchargers. The main reason Imaginators doesn't work is because all of the senseis are overpowered. Well, not really. They made the game perfect for the sensei's power level, but all the senseis are overpowered compared to all the other Skylanders, thereby making the other Skylanders pretty much obsolete. But once again, I haven't played the full time of either of these games, so don't take my opinion. If you want to know my overall ranking of all the games, Swap Force is the highest, then Trap Team, then Giant, then Spyro's Adventure, then Imaginators, and then Superchargers, cause obviously. So either go play Skylanders, go don't play Skylanders, and I'll see you... I would like to give a huge thank you to Stane Talkton for making the song you're hearing right now. And hey, if you like this video, maybe think about subscribing and leaving a comment.